Cases are up in Terre Haute. News 10's Jane Santucci explains how two departments are now working together to bring those numbers down. Roaring fire. Later, a pile of ashes. A common sight across many Terre Haute neighborhoods. The cause? Arsonists. In years past, it's a job of the Terre Haute Police Department to find out who set the fire and arrest them. On Thursday, this all changed. Terre Haute Fire Department arson investigation team has started a new division, arson criminal investigations. Three firefighters now have arresting powers for arson cases. Norm Laudermilk is one of them. What I would do is all the criminal investigations and try to lead uh, to an arrest and bring the responsible party for that criminal act to justice. On Sunday, Laudermilk made his first arrest. This woman, Angela Willis. She was uh, uh, in a fight with her ex-boyfriend um, and became so distraught and upset with him that, that she uh, set his garage on fire. This is just one case that will lighten the load for Terre Haute detectives. We had two investigators that were assigned to arsons when they came in. So by the fire department doing those instead of us, it frees those two guys up to do other cases that come in the city and speed up the prosecution of arsonists. It will cause the information to be turned into our office more efficiently and quicker. Getting more arsonists off the streets and behind bars. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Larry Parrish, Jane Santucci, News 10. The police say they will continue to investigate arson cases that involve an injury or result in death. As for Angela Willis, her bond was reduced in court this afternoon to $10,000 with 10% her jury trial date is now set for October 14th.